a uh, bit of a different film today. Um, as you may know, I'm an electric car driver and I'm here uh, outside Milton Keynes to try out the new Ionity chargers, which you might be able to see uh, over there, which uh, apparently should charge up to 350 uh, kilowatts. This car can't take that, but um, it should take more than the 50 that the uh, Polar Ultra chargers over there uh, will be able to provide. So, new installation, I thought I'd give it a whirl. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so if we have a, a look here, you can see it says uh, £8 to go. So let's click on start. Right, insert plug into vehicle. CCS into. That's not very long. Sorry about that, I had to use both hands to uh, plug it in. Right, so connect OK. So we start. Right, I'm using a smartphone, so if we uh, open up, yeah, let me just record this be easier to see. Right, so I've actually got the Ionity app here. Um, scan QR code. So let's do this. Access camera, yes please. It's going to scan that code and say charge now. It is £8 flat, so. Uh, PayPal active, different payment. This should be quite yeah, good. Continue, verifying, redirecting, blah blah blah. Well, this is more painful than I expected. Okay, okay, logging me in, continue. Initiating in the charge session, excellent. So, oh, it's whining. There's another little uh, installation here, there's a big old clunk from that second ago. So, if we look in here, we're going to charge. I like it, it's loud noise. Clunks, charging, here we go, good. So it's going to take a minute just to decide how full the car is. There we go, so it's uh, 27% and the car claims it's going to take 16 minutes. Let's see if the, uh, the dash agrees with it. So we've currently got four of these here, uh, looks like number three, oh, sorry, number two. Okay. One, two, three, three is off, but one, two, and four are working. So, so if we come in, have a look at the dashboard, close that in. So there, that is saying uh, 25 minutes to go. So, um, yeah, so far so good. Uh, Eight pounds is quite pricey if you're um, an Ecotricity customer used to using uh, electric highway. However, those of you who've got CCS cars will know just how emotional it is to find an Ecotricity CCS charger, one with a, with a CCS um, plug on it, and one that actually works as well when you get there. So, um, yeah, about half an hour to kill here. That's, uh, it's, it's pretty quick, actually. Um, yes, here it goes. See you on the other side. <coughs> so we've been going a little while there, maybe for 14 minutes, and it's delivered 15.08 uh, kilowatt hours. So uh, I'll bung on the screen uh, what kind of speed we're getting from that, but it's, it feels pretty quick. Uh, what I was going to show you, so... This cable, you saw we had earlier had issues plugging it in, it does claim to have a cooling system. So I'm guessing if it is possible to push 350 kilowatts, I mean, it doesn't feel warm to touch. Because it is capable of pushing that, it will get quite hot. But um, so far, quite impressed. Very easy on the payments. Uh, it was a bit of a because I put PayPal on rather than a, um, a credit card, but you know, that worked fair enough. Um, over behind me, the, uh, start the, rain, uh, the Polar set up there. Now, if you're a Polar Plus subscriber with the, with the swipe card, that is really easy. If you're an instant user, it is a nightmare. So, none of the uh, printed numbers, so last time I used it, match the numbers listed on the Polar Instant app. So, you've got to hope that you're here on your own, try and start the, the charge and hear which one starts beeping, um, and then drive around to it. Well, that's how I got around. Anyway, please tell me if I, I'm doing it wrong. Um, Good thing about that, of 
course uh, it is on the cover so if it is raining as I'm, I think it's going to start doing soon um, I wouldn't be getting wet however um, I thought I'd give these Ionties a, a go as they're brand new um, I've only seen one other video on YouTube of people using these so um, yeah uh, looks like there will be four here uh, great location in terms of M1 Milton Keynes in, you know, if you're doing a long distance north south uh, great the um, facilities behind me are let's be honest fairly basic uh, the toilet you will need 30 pence change to uh, to go use to spend a penny uh, which means I always have to stop get some money out, buy a coffee and then go for a pee, uh, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, certainly not as uh, fully featured as, uh, let's say, a, a motorway services, but, you know, um, half hour stop by the time you've got in and come out, we're nearly done. So, I think I'll wrap it up there, really. It's, uh, what can I say, it's, it seems to be reliable, very quick to charge, uh, and if you've got a car that can take a charge quicker than 50 kilowatts, uh, then you'll obviously reap the benefits. Um, oh, the point I was making earlier about 8 quid, being expensive it it all depends I guess how big your battery is if you've got one of the newer cars with a 60 or, or bigger size kilowatt hour battery then you could conceivably just sit here until you're 100% and pay eight, eight pounds if you're in a uh, a smaller battery like well 30 kilowatts hours like this one um, and you're at 75% it's still going to cost eight quid so maybe it's not such good value so uh, definitely worth it um, when you're empty uh, perhaps not so much uh, if you're not really needing a charge and probably better off just uh, battling with the, the polar instant and the £1.20 uh, connection charge there. Um, right, we will leave it there. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, see you later. So, I said I was going to leave it there. Um, clearly I lied. Um, so that uh, from, let me see, about 27% I think it, if I remember correctly. Yeah, uh, through to 94% where the Ionic stops any rapid charging. That took 24 minutes, uh, and I think it's about 20.66 uh, kilowatt hours uh, delivered. So, um, yeah, I'll do a little calculation there. But overall, um, yeah, I think I'm quite happy with my first uh, Ionity experience. Right, I'm going now. See you later.